trying to give you an example of uh, what we feel works for us. Yeah. I remember the time when we were looking for our first home, and um, I used to bring my wife down mm -hmm. to uh, model homes to, mm -hmm. uh, to take a look at it, because what I was doing when I was on my lunch break, I would go to model homes, I'd walk through the front door, and I just imagined that it was my home, and I was coming home, and this was my living room, this was my master. Here's where my kids will play. Here's where my wife will cook. Um, anyway, and so... Um, <laughs> I do cook. Okay. Don't you guys um, believe him? I cook and, a lot. And, 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 uh, and good. And what I was basically trying to do was uh, see myself there. Mm -hmm. And um, and I would bring her down, and um, I wanted her to envision that with me and so that we could be in the same uh, mind frame and, and, and when you when you're like that with your partner when you have the same mind frame the same heart mm -hmm. it makes the goal more obtainable it it's it, it feels impossible when you're trying to do it by, by yourself, yourself. Yeah. so when you have your partner on your side there's nothing you can't do so um, finally I was able to get her on board with me and um, and we made it happen, you know, with the good Lord with us, you know, it, it, it was it was everything that we needed to, to succeed. Amen. Well, now we have a different vision, yeah. you know, we're, we're, our vision is expanded. There's nothing wrong with expansion. Embrace it. So here we are again out That's on right. the trail. We're uh, going to model homes. Yeah. We're going to see the one that fits us and um, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. And this is when the vision process starts. Put yourself into the scene. Nice seating area right here. And this is the entrance way, as you can see. So this is your courtyard that you enter into. And it's a nice conversation area. And let's go in, guys. And as I pan around, I'm just taking it all in. How beautiful is that? Outdoor pool, again, a very nice seating area where you can enjoy company, great conversations, and just relax and enjoy the scenery. And this is the formal living room right here so gorgeous everything is just so clean and pristine that there's a beautiful lake back there as well and right here is the kitchen you will see the breakfast nook right here and how is this for your pantry and check out how high the ceilings are. Just beautiful. And look at those windows at the top. Again, just letting so much light come in. This seems to be an office area or your study area. Here is the master bedroom. Very, very open. And look at this seating area right here, which is so gorgeous so peaceful and relaxing you can lay out and again enjoy the beauty of your backyard and again like i said just so much space throughout the master bathroom right here oh my goodness and this is one of your sink areas there's your other one tub right here here's your shower and this right here is where the actual toilet is and then look at the closet. Look at that. Look at that. And they do have a doorway right here. So good space for all of your wardrobe. And then coming into here, this can be another office space. Very gorgeous. A separate bathroom as well right here. But again, don't forget to picture yourself in the house and really live in it mentally. And what's really neat about this house is you see that staircase right there, another staircase right here. Both leading to the same area, but indeed two areas that you can get to the top floor. And 
and this is a great entertainment space right here. This can be my husband's man cave that he's always wanted. And whoo wee what have we come into? This is the indoor movie theater right here. For all those times you want to entertain and watch movies with your friends, where you can absolutely do it in a room that's designated just for that. And it has a nice bar area right here as well. Sink, keep your wine or your beverages right there, nice and cold and chilled. Storage area, seating available here as well, as you can see. At the top floor, you definitely see a good view of everything that's happening downstairs. And here's another bedroom upstairs. And your upstairs bathroom. As you can see right here, my husband is already envisioning, dreaming and believing right here. And this is one of his most favorites. He wants a patio area that overlooks the landscape. And let's take a look. You can definitely see the pool area right there. A nice jacuzzi area right there as well. Has a nice little bar or cooking area also. And here's another bedroom. Nice spacing in here as well. And they have their bathroom right here. Bathtub. Sink area. And it extends into the other bedroom. We're just taking our time to absorb and enjoy and to envision ourselves actually living in this house. And here we go into the backyard right here. Then there's that beautiful lake out in your backyard. And the sounds back here is amazing. You see and you hear the trickle of that water. And as we come around here, you're also going to see your grill area. My husband's already imagining what it would be to live in this house and to be grilling up a storm because he does believe he is the grill master. I don't know about that, but that's what he believes. Grilling area. Now imagine all of your friends and family just enjoying one another's company, enjoying their home, just enjoying life, period. This is what life is all about. We are not meant to always struggle, but we're meant to also be happy and enjoy the goodness of what life has to offer. So we have to broaden our horizon and always keep our state of mind, always expecting, wanting, and dreaming big. And that is our tour of this beautiful, beautiful dream home right here, as we said, if you can see it, you can believe it. And if you can believe it, then you can achieve it. And there you have it, folks. See how easy that was to dream and envision? Okay, folks, so that was the tour of that beautiful, luxurious home. And I have to tell you, it was a great experience for me and my husband together. Absolutely. To be able to see that. Could you see yourself in it? I could. Yeah. I really could. We're going to make it happen. Yes. And just like you said, getting united with the same vision on the same page, because you guys know how hard it is to obtain something when nobody else understands you. 
but how much easier it is when someone sees the same thing that you do, mm -hmm. have the same desire and passion to obtain those things. It makes things so much easier, having an adventure with them, um, being able to go through the struggles, but also enjoying the accomplishments as well. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, you, you brought about a good point with how you were the visionary and the forefront of how we got our first home and you know we came from the background of really having nothing when we got nothing. together we had That's to true. really build up we lived in apartments we didn't live in the best Not neighborhoods, the nicest neighborhoods uh, you at know, all. We, we dealt with a lot of adversity but we were able to overcome it yeah have a vision and 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 achieve it but to be honest with you when we first went on that journey he was by himself um, I was not on the same page. I did not have the same vision. My doors were closed. I didn't have that expanded vision to be able to see further than what was before my eyes. And all I could see is the limited space we lived in. It was a very limited and caged up world for me. And for him to even invite me into a world of expansion to see new and broader horizons, I have to be honest with you, I was angry. I was mad, believe it or not. I was very um, I, I was very angry with him because I felt as if he was setting me up for failure. I felt that he was going to show me something that we could never have or attain. And I was angry with that. I didn't want to look inside of windows and imagine what it would feel like to live how a lot of people lived and know that that was way beyond my reach. So I did not want to see any homes. I did not want to go into places where I felt that I could never be at. Um, and it limited him too. And, and you know, he became frustrated. And until I began to see that visualization is so important because how will you ever know all of the things that you can obtain if you never see it? And by him pushing me and pushing me and by him believing in his vision and never giving up on his vision, one day he cracked uh, an opening where I began to let some of that light in. And I started going on that adventure of discovering new and better and bigger worlds of opportunity. And that was the only way that we were capable of, of obtaining the house that we have today. And, yes. And because he had that vision and mm -hmm. because he was influential enough to get me on the same page. So that's how important it is for you guys to be on the same page. I mean, that is what a marriage is all about. Coming together and sharing your adventures, your struggles, and even your accomplishments together because that's going to make your life filled with what opportunities and what life is supposed to be about that is what's going to bring you into your biggest accomplishments don't give up on your dream don't give up on your vision eventually they if that's your life partner they're going to see it they're, they're going to get on your side yeah. once they're on your Just side there's nothing up. you can't accomplish that's right when you two are united as one together if you can see it you can believe it and then you can achieve it. If you have the support from your spouse, if you guys have the same vision, the same opportunities to really enjoy one another mm -hmm. and enjoy your adventure together. Yes. Not limiting yourself and expanding. Just just knowing that you guys were meant to grow together. You guys were meant to be better, to live better. Continue on that journey no matter what. Continue to hold on to your dreams and your visions because it means that much. Your very quality of living can depend on it. So it's important for you to have such a relationship with your significant other and of course continue on this mission to being happy and to living the best life that you can live. And that's what we're all about. I'm Maria Young. I'm Jody Young. And this is The, the Young, Young Life. Life.